Hannah, in treating racehorses, what are the common ailments and injuries that you tend to come across? So, with racing, we do a lot of performance work. Um, there are studies within Deba that have shown an increase in stride length, which is, is really valuable. Certainly within racing, that's what we're all trying to achieve. Um, and so, the areas in a racehorse that we find tend to get a lot more muscle tension and, and areas that need treating are the, the back end, which is the power, um, it's, that's their engine, and also sort of neck and shoulders. Uh, you need to have a, a really nice loose neck and, and shoulder area so they can really move well, increase their range of movement uh, and, and jump increase their stride length. Um, but also within racing, you you do end up with things like tendon injuries and we've seen absolutely amazing results with healing tendons, getting horses back into training and back onto the track quicker. Um, and their joints, you know, they do work hard and so we can really effectively treat their joints and keep them comfortable, keep that range of movement to the maximum. So again, they can power forward comfortably, jump jumps if it's jump racing um, and finish racing, finish their races a lot better. And how has the reaction been from both trainers and I suppose beyond that owners as well? Yeah, I mean, training. What the trainers have, have been really impressed. The ones I work with have seen um, that they they can reduce medications that they use um, that have, have been very common in practice previously, um, which reduces vet bills, which is great. Um, and also from the riders' point of view, I have a really good relationship with a lot of the stable staff um, and they will tell me what they're feeling um, and they really notice a difference in the horse's performance, they're, um, they're content in their stable, they seem a lot happier in their work because they're maybe not as sore as they used to be. Um, so generally the feedback has been really, really impressive. And is there kind of treatment now or the treatment of certain things now that you're able to do with Indiba that you weren't able to do before with more traditional or just other methods? Oh, definitely. Um, from a re-injury point of view, I've had no tendons that I've treated re-injure, whereas previously, using other modalities, either the healing wouldn't have been as good or there had been an increased risk of re-injury, and I had seen that. Um, and from the joints, you would either have to spend a long, long time treating the joints, or, um, again, you weren't getting the results that you're getting now. And, Again, going back to range of movement, if a horse can truly flex, flex to its full potential, it's going to be able to power itself forward much better. Um, and I do see a big difference using Indiba than I have done using other electrotherapies.